Uh, breathing issues and persistent viruses, sending a lot of people to the doctor this week and local emergency rooms, too. Yeah, they've been really busy. Our own ER, Dr. Frank McGeorge, is here to show us exactly what's going around. The poor air quality continues to be very hard on people with breathing problems like asthma and COPD. Allergies are also making lots of people miserable, and those viruses just won't quit. Here's what's going around where you live. In Wayne County, Dr. Kevin Daisy at Children's Hospital reports kids with allergies and asthma symptoms. ER Dr. Glenn Clark at Corwell Health Beaumont in Gross Point is still seeing significant viral infections, many causing coughs and congestion. The CVS mini clinics are treating strep throat, pink eye, mono, and infected insect bites. Looking at Oakland County, lots of doctors are reporting stomach viruses and strep throat this week. ER Dr. Steve McGraw at Ascension Providence is also treating breathing problems in people with asthma or COPD and allergies to grass and pollen. The CVS mini clinics are seeing sinus infections, poison ivy, and hand, foot, and mouth disease. Moving to Washtenaw County, Michigan Medicine is treating lots of seasonal allergies, upper respiratory infections, and some COVID. In children, Dr. Marissa Louie reports croup and stomach viruses. Chelsea Hospital is also seeing an increase in stomach viruses this week. Checking out Macomb County, Dr. Osama Fasha in the ER at McLaren Macomb is treating lots of seasonal allergy sufferers and some stomach viruses. The CVS Mini Clinics report allergies too, plus ear infections, COVID, and an increasing number of skin rashes, including ringworm. Finally, in Livingston County, Dr. Lori Dixon at Trinity Health Livingston reports an increase in patients with stomach virus symptoms. Allergies and asthma round out the list. Now, it's not contagious, but a number of doctors did note that they're seeing more gardening injuries this week, especially cuts and puncture wounds to the hands and fingers. So pay close attention as you're getting the gardening going and make sure you have a good pair of gardening gloves. Back to you. All right, thank you, Doc. Pediatricians at Children's Hospital are also concerned about an increased risk of concussions as kids are playing outside. You can read their advice on the topic right now with this story on ClickOnDetroit.com. Search for what's going around.